Hey everyone, I bought a four pack of these wireless outlets. Um, this is R-Link on the top. Uh, let's see, they got a little button on the side. That's what they look like. Bought a four pack and had some trouble installing them last night. I think I paid around uh, 28 bucks off eBay. Um, had some trouble installing them last night and I wanted to share what I did to get them working. After this, there's no problem. The piece of paper suggests using an app called Smart Life, but uh, I found that not to work. And it's funny, I found that another app I used for a similar product was actually the way to go, and that app is called eWeLink. So it's kind of blue. Click it. eWeLink. So get that app ready, get it installed. Um, but before you do any of that, uh, you need to figure out how to get your device in the Wi-Fi pairing mode because the problem that I had for an hour is I was in the app, um, not even this one, the original one, trying to find the device, not knowing kind of what was happening. But once uh, I knew what was going on, I was able to add no problem. So what the app does uh, is it finds the device, but the device itself needs to be in Wi-Fi pairing mode. So to do that, you need to hold down the side of it and let's see, let me shut this off. Okay, so you hold on the side of the device for about five seconds, and you'll see it blinking rapidly. Get your get your wi phone on your uh, Wi Fi on your phone ready. Hold that down. Okay, that should be good. Now, what we're looking for are any new devices that you don't recognize around your house. I'm looking for something strange. I forget what it was last night. And it doesn't work every time. That's the problem, too. So you're in this app, and it takes like five minutes each time. Nothing yet. Okay, so I'm going to try it again. And this is the problem I was having. Let's try that. Oh, it seems pretty rapid. Yeah, I did notice too, every time you hold it on for five seconds, it goes, there it is. I-T-E-A-D. Now, I'm not sure that yours are gonna say the exact same thing, but you know, in the app that it suggested, the Smart Life, Smart Life app, it said to look for this wireless network that started with, you know, Smart Life uh, dash X, and it doesn't. These are just, that's the part of this good factory. So, it's called I-T-E-A-D. Now, after you see that pop up, that's good. That means it's in the, the Wi-Fi pairing mode. You want to go to your eLink, eWeLink app, and then you want to add a quick device. And you can do, a, it's called quick pairing. Uh, enter your um, wireless information. Now what the app is doing now is it switches off your Wi-Fi and then it flips onto your wireless networks and looks for things it recognizes. In this case is that ITAD. And that's the part that um, I learned is important to understand when you're, when you're putting this together, what's happening behind the scenes because you could be on the app getting frustrated that it's not working, not realizing that, well, this thing's not putting out its Wi-Fi network. So if it found it, we're good to go. And it wants me to rename it. I don't know what I'm using this for yet, but uh, I'll just call it uh, Outlet 2. Okay, done, complete. Device is connecting to Wi-Fi. So what's happening now is it's sending the information how to get onto your Wi-Fi to the device so it knows what uh, signal and password to put in to connect to your home network. Okay, now it should be your setup. Now it says it's off. So if I plug this, this light in here, okay. Oh, gotta turn this on, because it's letting the electricity through. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong switch, sorry. That's for the shoe out here. There you go, works. Good luck.